It's time to update the Squad Busters tier list with the new Lava World characters. We're gonna rank Leon, we're gonna rank the Miner, we're gonna rank the Archer, and we're gonna update the list based on the recent balance changes and some things we've learned, because man, have we learned some things since the last time I released this list. So let's get started with Leon. Let's put him on, and I'm gonna give him an A. Overall, I think he has a valuable role as a speedster and using the invisibility he offers as a way to go faster, which is something that you get in his earlier forms and at his four-star version. I think he is there for giving your team speed and a little bit of value from the invisibility, but I wouldn't draft him if you wouldn't have considered potentially drafting a max. And I think they fulfill a very similar role. In fact, while we're here, I feel like I need to bump Max down a tier. I think that Max is very strong and making your squad go faster is amazing, but paired to the things that are in the S tier, I don't think Max is quite at the same power level. So we bump her down and let's rank the Miner. The Miner is a powerful unit and I would say it's better than the El Primo, but it is very much a win more unit. If you are the overdog and you can be ambushing squads, it is disgusting. You get the sickest engage. But I prefer units that help you when you're losing and get you back in the match. I prefer units that have more of a focus on making it so that when you take a team fight and things are kind of even, you're good. And I really like units that give you some resilience to when you get ambushed, especially now that people are going to be showing up invisible. So I think I would rank the miner as a C. I do think as a frontliner, it's more dynamic than the El Primo, and they both fulfill a similar win more sort of a role. And he's just really insane if you can get lots of turbo. So I'm gonna put him at C, but there are some C tier units that are gonna need to get bumped up. We will get there. First, I need to rank the Archer. The Archer is pretty cool. Big damage and then a fat AOE. And I like that, but you do need to get a fusion of it for it to really deliver on its value. And that's really true of any of the common units. You want to defuse them anyways. So am I first picking Archer and feeling like, oh, wow, I am crushing it this game because I picked an Archer? Not really. In fact, these days I'm first picking Chicken more and more. Now, I do think, in fairness, it is about the same power level as the Shelly and the Barbarian. So I think I want to put it there but I think that I would prefer to draft either of those units pretty much any time I'm drafting. So I'll put the Barb and the Shelly in front of the Archer, but it is a solid unit overall. Although we may have to bump it down. There, there, there are some things we need to adjust here, okay? And we will start from the top of this list and work our way down because the BK, even though his Super Rage got nerfed, I wouldn't change a thing. BK is disgusting. Tank is amazing. Hog is amazing. Archer Queen is amazing. I'm very happy with everything we have in the S tier. At the A tier, the Trader, Witch, Greg, Mavis, Jesse, everything that's there, I feel good about. It's the B tier where really things start to shake up. And there's things I wanna bump up and things I wanna bump down. First of all, the Medic. As far as healers go, I need to bump him down a tier. I don't think he's quite as powerful, and I might even bump him down yet another tier because his healing, and Renzai said this to me a long time ago, but he felt like his healing is really slow. And I do agree, like if you need healing, it's healing, but it is really slow. <laughs> I actually think I'm gonna bump him down to a D. I hate to do it, but it's just the healing is so slow from the medic compared to the battle healer. Well, I'm gonna pull forward to the front here. Battle healer, I'm liking more and more and giving your squad more total health is just very powerful. From here though, I also want to change the ranking on the Mortis. It is just so good at the start of the match, and I'm finding more and more, especially given that squads are now smaller than ever before. Because you now can't use as many reroll dice as you want, people are fusing less, which means they have less fusions and less units overall because everything just costs more. So the people that were using those pay to win consumables have weaker squads on average. And I think that's actually more fun for the game for the squads to be smaller, actually. Like not tiny, but like the right size. I think they're the right size now, but I think it would be unfair to not bump Mortis up. And Mortis can give you some very, very dynamic starts. Like Mortis and Jesse just give these amazingly dynamic starts. In fact, comparatively, the witch just really doesn't do that. I would actually gonna do it. I'm gonna bump the witch down a tier. 
She's cool. She does powerful things, giving you lots of skeletons, but I aspire to keep this list balanced, okay? And I don't want like everything to be A tier, everything to be S tier. Everything is ranked relative to everything else, gosh darn it. Speaking of which, and on the topic of bumping things up, I have a unit I need to bump up, and I was not expecting this. And we are gonna take the Ice Wizard and bring it all the way up to S tier. What a change indeed. Why am I doing this? It's less about the freeze spell, and more about the fact that he can just single-handedly close out an enemy squad. This is even more true now that squads are weaker than ever before and they have many unfused units. Do again to the reroll situation changing. Now you get three rerolls instead of paying for your dice. So again, because of the removal of the reroll tokens, people just aren't fusing as much. So that whole backline, super weak, gets hit by his penetrating AOE damage, and they're cooked. It's over, bro. It is over. At the C tier, I think I want to leave most of these here, but like, there is one swap I want to make. I think I want to bump the Penny down and the B up. Her B's got more powerful, and just as a deterrent, B's are just really good at keeping people away from your squad. The other thing I will add is, again, because there's more unfused units than ever before, you have more opportunity to hit weaker stuff. Now, that said, unfused units did get a slight health boost, which also benefits the B a lot. So I think that's a, a swap I'm very happy with. I even like would be tempted to move the Colt around, but I don't think that's quite where it's at. And you know what's funny, but I think the rest of this list here is looking pretty good. So this means your most powerful units in the game, in my estimation, are the BK, the Tank, the Hog, the Queen, and the Ice Wizard. And those units, I mean, they're, they're all kind of units that can close out the game in your favor, right? Each has a different way of doing it, so you gotta know what situation you're in for what you wanna draft. But if you start the match with a Greg or a Mavis or a Jesse or a Mortis, those are some of the most dynamic starts I think you can possibly get. I find that those starts are even more dynamic than when I get a hog as the first pick. I'm not saying I don't want a hog, but like you, the thing is that if you start with the Greg or the Mavis, you get so many squad ups so fast because of all the coins that you're getting. Jesse does the same thing by giving you just so much control over an area. Mortis does the same thing by making your squad so big that you can go take the middle. Um, the other two at the tail end here are the speedsters. That at the very end of the draft, can make a big difference. I find, by the way, these sorts of low health units, lower health, that don't have a way to recover health, like the max, end up really low health and forces you to avoid taking fights unless you have Gregor Mavis to be healing them. Like you have to have a healer to support them, like the trader who stays in A. I didn't talk about the bandit at all, but the B tier units I think are good here. But just to lock in on the bandit, I predicted that it would be either A tier or B tier in my last version of this list. I would say it's definitely B tier. That is the right ranking for this thing. The problem with the bandit is that it's very low health and it charges to the front. And it's not like very low, but it's lower than any front line you'd want to possibly have. So you have to fuse this thing or you have to get a mortis or it's just cooked. And it can get you some really awesome Ws, but it is not so it's not a complete package like some of these units are. And honestly, if I look at this list and I think what is a candidate for bumping down in the future and a candidate for bumping up, I think Battle Healer could easily get bumped up. And I worry that maybe the Max and the Leon are candidates for bumping down. Other than that, I think now I feel pretty good about this list. Dr. T still holds the crown as one of the worst. Same with Bo, same with the Royale King, GG. Although I do like running around with the Resort Royale theme. That's, uh, that's nice. Let me know your thoughts about this list down below in the comments. And if you wanna see my dedicated video about Leon or the Miner, I went way in depth on my experience using them. I mean, I actually am surprised that I'm like not drafting them as much as I thought I would. And that's cause their power level is not quite what I thought it would be. But check the videos, full explanations here and here. Hope you'll enjoy them.